Greetings gun enthusiasts. Today we're going to take a look at the test results from yesterday's shoot featuring the PMR-30 and Critical Defense by Hornady in 22 WMR. You've seen me test these things before. Uh, also with the polymer tips removed for the North American Arms Black Widow, which has a shorter barrel than the PMR-30. And yesterday I fired five shots into a, a little over an 18 inch gel column and all five wound up at about the same spot, even though I fired through uh, three of them through four layers of, of heavy denim and two of them through bare gel. I think the polymer tips are doing their job through the longer barrel because the uh, the results are exceedingly consistent, probably more consistent than almost any other type of ammunition I've ever tested. And that's 22 Magnum from a pistol. All right, I'm going to cut this block at the 12 inch mark right here. And like so. Now, you can see the really impressive wound tracks <laughs> occur in the first four to five inches of the uh, of the track. But of course, those are temporary cavities, uh, basically an artifact of a gel test, and don't have a corollary in human flesh, although some people say it compares approximately to bruising which I'm not, I'm not convinced of, but whatever. Okay, it's pretty straight cut. You can see some shed petals, some shed polymer tips in there. Set that aside. And let's bring this into focus. All five bullets exhibit good expansion. Some of them have rotated, tumbled, but I'm not sure it matters. I think uh, that's an impressive round. Let's see what some some of them may have bounced back just slightly, but not so much in, in organic gel. It looks like about 13, shade over 13 inches would be the uh, the max penetration on these, but all between 12 and 13. Extraordinarily consistent. All right, I'm going to pause the video and remove those from the gel. All right, so these projectiles start out at 45 grains. And if I'm doing my math correctly, 45 times 5 is uh, 220. Looks like we have 100% weight retention. I did see a couple of shed copper pellets, or petals, <laughs> copper petals, in the gel, but not, not a lot. Considering they're clocking maybe 1,100 feet per second, there's a little bit of gel in this one. But still, I mean, 175 for the room. There's not much gel. There's a little bit of gel stuck in these. But man, that is that is close to 100% weight retention. You can see they're they're producing some really good mushrooms. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Come on. There we go. Really nice, fat, round expansion get the calipers on those all right this one with the polymer cap still on it the sorry the polymer insert still sp squashed onto it appears to have the largest expansion and that's logical if you think about it, because it probably went 
straight ahead through the gel for the longest, and that would have flattened out the lead the farthest. But 0.357, uh, you know what that diameter is, right? <laughs> That's 357. <laughs> that's 38 special. So that's winding up like if you were to shoot uh, wad cutters as a as a self defense, as a defensive load, you have that same diameter start to finish. Well, these will expand to that diameter and penetrate to 13 inches in gel. So. I'm not sure <laughs> what the advantage would be of 380 or, well, oh, there's a slight advantage, admittedly. There's That's more of a 32 caliber, 3135. That's about the caliber of a 32 ACP. But anything that will penetrate about 13 inches, any of the, the, the underpowered loads that if you just shoot them FMJ, target loads or whatever, because you expect not to get expansion anyway, so why bother? You would have done yourself a disservice by about 20 to 25 rounds of ammunition that you could have carried for the same amount of weight <laughs> as a PMR-30. There's another one. 3475 diameter and that's the narrow direction. Yeah, think uh I think Hornady and Caltech have a strong point offering this uh offering this ammunition. Here's th this uh this I believe is a bear gel shot. And um well, the narrow diameter there, you know, it's pretty mangly. It's lost some, shed some weight. Because with the bear gel, you end up just expand, expending a lot more energy in the first few centimeters of a target and so instead of a controlled expansion you get kind of an explosive explosive expansion which isn't necessarily all bad but it does tend toward a little bit of of, of weight loss as you shed those copper petals three six six five that's the narrow direction yeah uh these these expand to what is arguably a pretty lethal diameter. Uh, four layers of denim, bare gel. These these crush these through 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 the four point three inch barrel of a PMR thirty. These uh, these are astonishing. I really don't know what more to say about the performance of Hornady's. Critical defense in 22 Magnum fired out of a PMR 30, except 30 of them. <laughs> and yeah, if you look at the other video, we tested the PMR 30 and it will. We didn't experience a, a, a malfunction of the firearm yesterday when we when we were testing it. it we ran uh, several mags through it and. Wow, it just. It just. It, and it eats all different kinds of ammunition. We even threw some CCI TNT loads, and you know how wide the uh, the hollow point cavity is on those, and and those did those fed perfectly well, and some target loads, you know, some lead soft points, and then uh, of course these Hornady, and everything feeds. We had poor sky conditions for crony readings yesterday, but I figured the average was about eleven hundred. I got a 1250, which I think is anomalously high, and I got two readings out of seven rounds we put across the chronometer that were 1089 and 1099. So, I mean, obviously, 1099 is the uh, the 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 average the the median of those three that we did get to register. But uh, man, good round, 
good gun. I, I, I'm astonished. It's it's thirty rounds of of potentially lethal defensive ammunition in a relatively light, uh, small enough package. It's certainly no bigger than a full size nine millimeter, and it's much lighter. All right, geographies are out.